Well, good day there, subscribers, and welcome, and this is Financial Education 2. I am Jeremy, if you are new here. Today, we're gonna to be talking about the top 15 dividend-paying stocks going into March 2019. This is possibly a new series I can start where I look at a lot of high-paying dividend stocks, which I know a lot of you guys love to kind of hear about high-paying dividend stocks so you can look into them more and kind of see if you wanna invest in them and whatnot. If this is a series you guys would like me to do each month. Let me know in the comment section if something I can do. Maybe, maybe it could be something we do on this channel, so just let me know in that comment section. This comes after yesterday. Yesterday, I put out a video on this channel called Dividend Investing for Beginners 2019 Edition. And so I thought as a follow-up, let's just talk about some dividend stocks so you guys can find some if you want to look into these dividend stocks more. You are free to do so. As always, today's video is sponsored by my private stock market membership group. If you're interested in joining in there, we got 200 plus members now. That is going to be linked down there in the description. Coming in at number 15 is a company named National Health Investors, ticker symbol N. HI. This one has a yield just under 5%. Basically, all these stocks have, you know, 5% plus yields or right around 5% plus yields, all these stocks. This one has a 4.81% yield as of right now. National Health Investors NHI is a real estate investment trust, which is known as a REIT, which means they basically pay out 90% plus of their profits out to investors in the form of dividends. They specialize in the sale, lease back, and joint venture of mortgage and mezzanine financing of need-driven and discretionary discretionary senior housing and medical investments. NHI's uh, portfolio consists of independent assisted and memory care facilities, entrance fee, retirement communities, and skilled nursing facilities, medical office buildings, and specialty hospitals. Coming in at number 14 is the Southern Company's ticker symbol SO. This one has a yield of about 4.91%, just barely under 5% yielder here. The Southern Company, through its subsidiaries, engages in the generation, transmission, and distribution of a electricity. The company also constructs, acquires, owns, and manages power generation assets, including renewable energy facilities that sell electricity in the wholesale market and distribute natural gas in some markets as well. If you want to read more about the Southern Company, feel free to there. Coming in at number 13 is a company named the PPL Corporation, ticker symbol PPL. This one has a dividend yield on of 5.31%. Now we're over the 5% yielders. PPL Corporation is a utility utility holding company that delivers electricity and natural gas in the United States and the United Kingdom. The company operates through three segments, UK regulated, Kentucky regulated, and Pennsylvania regulated. You can pause the video if you want to read more through that one. Coming in at number 12 is the 1OK Corporation. OKE is a ticker symbol on this one. Over a 5% yielder once again. The 1OK through its general partner interest in 1OK Partners LP engages in the gathering, processing, storage, and transportation of natural gas in the United States. The company operates through natural gas gathering, processing, natural gas liquids, and natural gas pipeline segments. If you want to read more about the corporation, feel free to do so there and just pause the video. Coming in at number 11 is the Philip Morris Corporation, ticker symbol PM. This one pays just under a 5.5% yield on this one. Philip Morris, in the simplest terms, is a tobacco company. At the end of the day, you can read about all the different brands they own there, but pausing the video, all right? Coming in at number 10 is a WP Carry Corporation, ticker symbol WPC. This one has right around the same yield as that last one, Philip Morris there, right around 5.5%. WP Carry ranks among the largest diversified net lease REITs with an enterprise value of approximately $17 billion in a portfolio of operationally critical commercial real estate that includes 1,186 net lease properties covering approximately 133 million square feet. That's just massive, okay? Once again, another REIT company that pays out most of their profits in the form of dividends, all right? Coming in at number nine is Enbridge, ticker symbol ENB. This one is now over the 6% yield mark. We're now getting into the 6% yielders, all right? Enbridge operates as an energy infrastructure company in Canada and the United States. The company operates through five segments, liquid pipelines, gas transmission, and midstream gas distribution green power in transmission and energy services. All right, uh, you can pause the video there if you want to read more in depth about Enbridge. Coming in at number eight is Enterprise Product Partners LP, ticker symbol EPD on this one. This one's once again, another one over a 6% yield, about 6.1% on this one. Enterprise Products Partners provides midstream energy services to producers and consumers of natural gas, natural gas liquids, crude oil, petrochemicals, and refined products. You're gonna 
you're gonna find a lot of these companies are either like in the natural gas space or a lot of them are REITs or something to do with electricity. That's just how it is with a lot of these big dividend payers, all right? Coming in number seven is Main Street Capital Corporation. This one, once again, right around the same as these last ones, over a 6% yield. Main Street Capital Corporations is a business development company specializing in long-term equity and debt investments in small and lower middle market companies. A firm focuses on investments, subcoordinated loans, private equity, venture debt, mezzanine investments, mature, mid-venture, and industrial consolidation, latter stage, late venture, emerging growth. Do they, is there anything they don't do? Holy smokers, guys. Come here, number six, Altria Group, ticker symbol MO on this one. As you probably already know, MO is gonna be another tobacco stock. This one paying over a six and a half percent yield, an absolutely massive yield there. Altria Group through its subsidiaries, manufacturers and sells cigarettes, smokeless products, uh, and wine in the United States, all right? Coming in at number five is Tanger Factory Outlets, ticker symbol S. KT, Tanger Factory Outlets pays up around a 6.6% .6 yield, just absolutely massive. Tanger Factory Outlet Centers is a publicly traded REIT, once again, another REIT, meaning they pay out at least 90% of their net income in the form of dividends to shareholders. They're headquartered out in North Carolina, but they operate these massive upscale outlet shopping centers. They have a portfolio of around 44 at this point in time, and from my understanding, that is a growing number there, all right? Coming in at number four is Magellan Midstream Partners. This one has a dividend yield of 6.75% on it, okay? Some of these dividend yields are getting pretty fun at this point in time, all right? They engage in the transportation, storage, and distribution of refined petrochemical products and crude oil in the United States. Once again, another energy-related company, all right? Coming in at number three, a lot of you guys may even have this one as your cell phone service, is AT&T, ticker symbol T. This one's always a very high yielding company, it seems as ever since I've been in the stock market for over 10 years. It's always had a big yield on it. And uh, still to this day, a very big yielder, just under a 7% yield, 6.85% to be exact as of right now. AT&T provides a communications and digital entertainment services. I mean, I shouldn't really have to explain AT&T. I think most of you guys, especially if you live in the United States, you, you are very familiar with AT&T, all right? Coming in at number two is the Iron Mountain Corporation, ticker symbol IRM. Pretty interesting one here. Almost a 7% yield. I remember uh, Warren Buffett used to own this stock. I'm not sure if Warren Buffett still owns Iron Mountain, but I know he used to uh, own Iron Mountain many years ago. This one, like I said, 6.91% yield on this one. Iron Mountain Incorporated was founded in 1951 and is the global leader for storage and information management services, trusted by more than 225,000 organizations around the world with a real estate network of more than 85 million square feet across 1,400 facilities in approximately 50 countries. Iron Mountain stores and protects billions of valued assets, including critical business information, highly sensitive data, and cultural and historical artifacts, providing solutions that include information management, digital transformation, secure storage, secure destruction, as well as data centers, cloud services, art storage, and logistics. Iron Mountain helps its customers lower cost and risk comply with regulators recover from disaster and enable more in a digital way of working all right and last one coming in at number one the biggest dividend yielder of the whole bunch is brookfield renewable partners ticker symbol bep this one is over a seven percent yield on this one 7.12 percent to be exact absolutely massive dividend yield basically meaning you got a thousand bucks in it's going to pay you over 70 bucks a year assuming they don't decrease or increase the dividend in the future. Brookfield Renewable Partners owns a portfolio of renewable power generating facilities in North America, Colombia, Brazil, Europe, and international. The company operates through hydroelectric, wind, solar. And that wraps up today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you maybe found some dividend stocks you might want to look into further and see if you actually want to invest in them or not. Hit a thumbs up if you enjoy this as always. And let me know in the comment section if you want me to make this a monthly series going over some very high yielding stocks. I would love to hear from you guys. As always, thank you for watching and have a great day.